Hey John, just thought I'd just watch your video on Dell. Um, I thought yeah, I'd give you my take on Dell's customer service. Back in 2006, I was deployed over to Iraq, and I had just bought a brand new Dell computer fresh off the plane before I went over to Iraq. And we get over there, and it's not even like a month into my tour, and my computers go tits up. So there, I finally get them on the phone while I'm overseas. Mind you, I'm paying like $4 a minute to talk to these people, and I had the same issue. Uh, you know, being hung up on, being transferred, this, that, and the other. And, you know, finally I got somebody who wanted to help. Got my computer sent back to Dell. And, like, four months goes by. No computer. Finally call them up, and they're like... Well, we don't know where your computer's at. We know we see it's in the system, but we we don't see it's been checked in anywhere. We don't know where it's at. We have no ideas. So let us get on and we'll email you. Mind you, I'm sitting out in the middle of the desert on an M1A1 Abrams tank. I don't have email out in the middle of the desert. You know, we're not in America where I got AT&T at my fingertips with, you know, the great iPhone. I mean, we just, we just did it. And, uh, you know, I I really wish Dell would have figured it out. It took them like eight months to get me my computer. By then, I was already on my way home almost. And, uh, you know, it was just horrible. And, you know, now I'm sitting here on a MacBook Pro 13-inch, which I love. Because as soon as I got back, I bought a iBook G4, the white ones. And from then on, I've been a Mac user, you know. I hate to say it, but Dell kind of crushed it on me for Windows. So, hope this helps, John. Uh, you know, these guys need to get something right here. Talk to you later. Bye.